I am so excited to get this bike. It has been a year and a half since we've had our last new mountain bike. So this is a Divide, a Jameis Divide 29. Let's open this and look inside. This is a blood, let me see, what color is this? Uh, da, 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 da. Ox blood. This is ox blood. But there we are. Well packaged. We've got our little parts parts box down there. Tires don't look too bad. Let's pull it out of the box. Okay. Six thousand series aluminum. Frame so far looks pretty good, 29 inch wheels. Uh, looks like we've got a flat front tire. I'm gonna have to put a new tube in it. Seat post. And our parts box. The first thing I always like doing is I like to remount the seat tube just a little bit. What we've got here is we've just got a disc brake for an automotive uh, reaming tool. What this will do is it'll clean up any uh, you know bad spots in the the seat tube area. Uh, it basically deburrs it and just cleans it up makes it smoother for the seat post. Okay, let's get the seat post in place. See what kind of seat's on here. Just your basic Jameis seat. It's uh, got some cushion to it. It's narrow, sporty. It's not a bad seat. Uh, seat post is a Zoom. Zoom is not a super high-end post, but uh, it actually looks pretty good. Looks nice and solid. It's a 31.6 if anybody needed to know that. So let's, uh, we're gonna grease this post before we're done. I'm just gonna put it in for now so we can start to build it. Okay, so so far the frame looks pretty good. It does not have um, internal cable routing, which is fine. It's not a very high-end bike, although this is much better than anything you can get from Walmart or Target. I'm putting this together there's certain things I'm going to need to do the stem is obviously on backwards in relation to the fork so we'll need to turn that around we'll also need to flip it over because most people are going to want the to be a little bit more upright they want to be a little more comfortable I'm seeing Shimano on this I'm seeing a Shimano uh, well, I'm seeing a Shimano rear derailleur, some uh, a Shimano front derailleur, some Shimano shifters. The brakes look like they're probably um, Tektro. They are. 
welds are looking pretty good on this bike. I've always been really happy with Jameis bikes. They do a they do a very nice bike. The Oxblood isn't bad. It's not my favorite color, but it's color. And uh, uh, whenever you have a choice between just plain black or white, sometimes it's just nice to go with some color. So uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to speed this up. Let's go ahead and get this thing put together. And then we're going to take it out for a test ride and give our, you know, review on this bike. I'm going to get started. What we have here is a 2022 or 2023 Jameis Divide. It came with a Shimano Tourney rear derailleur, a Mega Drive freewheel on there, some very nice Textro, Tektro disc brakes, three piece cranks, a very nice 6000 series aluminum frame, decent seat and seat post, aluminum bars threadless stem so uh, we've got a Suntour XC80 front suspension fork 29 inch double walled aluminum rims looks looks uh, like a pretty nice bike let's uh, take it for a spin You want to break in these brakes by uh, dragging them for a little bit. Without coming to a stop. So I'm just dragging these brakes. This uh, actually feels pretty good. 
it feels very nimble. Fork feels okay. <laughs> Shifting. A little clunky. You can tell it's not a Shimano free wheel, but that's a uh, an upgrade that can easily be done. Let's see how this wheelies. It feels like a a nimble small bike. It doesn't feel like a large. Hey, that's feeling good. Try to make it through these bikes without touching. There we go. I, I haven't I haven't tried it on a trail, but this bike is a very nimble, great riding bike that seems to want to wheelie for days. So far, this is a great riding bike. The frame looks like a great quality, although it does not have an integrated headset. It's got a traditional pressed-in headset, and I haven't had any problems with those as, as long as the headset is tightened properly. You shouldn't have any problems with it. It's got a great set of wheels on there. The components are of a lower quality than what I'm used to pre-COVID, uh, but as far as today, this is pretty much what you're going to be getting. Uh, you're going to be getting uh, a little bit less for your money, but for the most part, I'm very pleased with this bike, and I'm really excited that we've gotten this these mountain bikes after waiting for a year and a half. So at $629, I'm pretty happy with this bike as far as compared to the competition. Um, it's, you know, check it out, go to your local Jameis dealer, give one a quick test rod, but I think that you're going to be fairly pleased. Uh, now this is going to be for recreational trail riding. If you're going to be doing really aggressive riding, you will want to invest in to a more expensive bike. But for light trails, having some fun, going around the neighborhood, this is an excellent bike to go with. So if you liked this video, please leave me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tell your friends. Check out some of the other videos on the corner of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.